YouTubers, welcome to another episode. That was a little clip of the last time we were at Dorney Lake because today we're going back there for some more rowing. Oh yeah, so that is the Olympic venue, or it is, was the Olympic venue for rowing in 2012 when the Olympics came to London. So this is just another bit of variation, another bit of motivation. Oh yeah, but now we need to get in the car with Callum because Callum is driving today. Waiting now, we have made it to Dorney Lake where the trailer has just arrived. Oh, yeah, beautiful sunrise as well as we were driving here, but now it's time to re rig the boats so we can get out on the water of this Olympic venue. Oh, yeah. And that's us finished rigging the boat, and then we get to go on the water. Oh, yeah. finished that first session, decent session, a little bit of speed work in there for the pieces coming up this week. But now it's time to fuel up because remember, food is fuel. And we're off the water. We're now jumping in the car to go to the shop to get some food because food is fuel. We need to fuel up after a session. Isn't that right, Harry? That is right. Oh, yeah. And we've made it out of the shop. We've went for a bread and tuna option oh yeah but now it's time to eat this and then we're going to get back on the water oh yeah. and we've had a little bit of food this is dorney lake this is where the 2012 olympics rowing races were held and also this is the home the home the eaton's eaton college's facilities eaton college's facilities this is also eaton college's facilities as well. It's pretty cool for a school. Oh yeah, but it is very different rowing on a lake versus rowing on a river. The stream is not there. Much more consistent than you get other things like when you're passing a boat on a lake, you can like bounce off and stuff. But also the wind is very much sort of very wide open so the wind can affect this water a bit more than on the river, depending on the direction of course. But it's awesome to be here. Any differences for you, Callum, River, this, this venue versus Henley? Uh, it's always a crosswind here. <laughs> always a crosswind. Sometimes, most of the time. Always. <laughs> I said it, it's always. <laughs> but now it is time for Callum and I to hop in the pair and get to yamming on it. Oh, yeah.
has finished with the rowing for the day. Oh, yeah, now it's time to go. Get a shower, go to the club, get fueled up. Because remember, food is fuel. Woo! Man. So I've made it to the club, back to Leandro Club. It's time to get some food because remember, food is fuel. And we've made it into the crew room. We've got some lovely ribs and chips for lunch. Oh yeah! So we're gonna eat it, we're gonna fuel up. So let's get to it. And we've made it outside the club. Oh yeah! And today has been a pretty productive day. Good trip down to Dorney, having a little bit of a change, a little bit of variation. Always good to vary things up, change things up to keep the motivation up. But we're doing some pieces, what day is it today? Wednesday, so we're doing some pieces tomorrow, we're doing some pieces Friday. So we'll see how that goes. It will be against, we'll do some basically some seat racing and stuff. So just some testing within the club. So that will be interesting. We'll be good to do basically getting a ranking for the guys at the club or the guys that are racing and doing the pieces because a couple of guys are out because of illness. So it's time for the end of today's episode and obviously as you can tell from the title the yam squad christmas merch is now online so it's a pre-order for the jumper which i had on yesterday the which is this the blue jumper which is new which is this And the t-shirt, which is also new, which is this. So hopefully, like all three options, made the t-shirt in case you didn't want a jumper. But if you want the designs that are on the jumpers, then you have to go with the jumper. But let me know in the comments below if you like those Yam Squad merch ideas. And if you think of any other ones, we're going to go outside of Christmas merch after this batch. And it'll be, since we're heading to Spain on the training camp, I'm yet to see about the shipping date, but hopefully, or definitely, we'll be getting them before Christmas anyway, depending on where you live. But uh, I should be shipping the first week of December. Oh, yeah. But this, like I said, for those pieces, it will all be a pre-order, and then we'll set that up so we can get them hopefully shipped off by the start of December. All right, so that will be it for today's episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And as always, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.